Hey, I'm Jeff with IT Supplies. If you see this, or this, and you know what it is, or maybe it gets you excited, this could be a great video for you. Today we're going to talk about the differences between the Pro 3 and the Pro 3 Plus. This is part of the i1 lineup, and they expanded into these two models uh, last year. So, if you're trying to figure out which instrument fits your needs, keep watching. Okay, here we are. We're gonna compare and contrast both the i1 Pro 3 and the i1 Pro 3 Plus. And we're gonna look at the key differences between these and the key similarities. So at IT Supplies, our color consultants have done a lot of work with both these models, and each instrument has its own sweet spot. So you'll need to be very careful in selecting the right instrument to fit your needs. So let's start with the similarities. Both models have the same form figure. Therefore, they're interchangeable with different accessories like the automated I.O. table. And both models have the ability to profile monitors up to 5,000 nits. Both models also come with the option for the i1 profiler software. So those are like three key uh, things that are similar. Let's talk about some of the major differences between the Pro 3 and the Pro 3 Plus. So one of the major differences between the Pro 3 and Pro 3 Plus is the aperture. The Pro 3 comes with a 4.5 millimeter aperture, as opposed to the Pro 3 Plus that has an 8 millimeter aperture. So if you work in a printing environment that mostly prints on smooth surfaces, then the Pro 3's 4.5 millimeter aperture will provide you the accuracy you need. This includes papers, banners, vinyl, canvas, most non-textured surfaces. The patch size for this device is 8 by 8 millimeters. Now, if you work with textured surfaces, like fabrics or highly reflective surfaces, then the i1 Pro 3 Plus would be your best option because it has the 8 millimeter aperture, and that combined with the option for a polarization filter will allow you to get highly accurate profiles with this device. Now, make sure you note that the larger aperture will result in patches that are up to 16 by 20 millimeters in size. Finally, both units come with options for i1 Profiler. These options include i1 Basic and i1 Publish. Now the key difference is, i1 Basic is designed for customers that have a RIP solution with profiling software and i1 support built in. The profiler software included allows for monitor profiling and limited additional features. Now i1 Publish is a full featured software and hardware bundle that includes CMYK, RGB, and monitor profiling along with many other features. This solution is best suited for customers who have RIP software without a profiling option or where you have advanced color critical environments where your company would want to use an external profiling solution for highest color accuracy and color control. So, to summarize, bigger is not always better when it comes to aperture and the i1 solutions. I really hope this video has been helpful in deciding which i1 is best suited for your needs. Should you still have questions, our color consultants are available to answer your questions. You can find contact information in the description below. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like it or share it. Better yet, subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss any of our videos.